Hey, it's Tim, and this is the best, greatest, ever, ever backpacking food secret you've ever heard. Okay, when I was a kid, um, I used to mess around in the kitchen all the time. My mom, my parents were gone to work and stuff, and I had to make my own snack when I got home from school. And so I would get bored with like normal cans of soup and stuff, and I just started mixing them together. Like a, a can of beef stew and a top ramen. Or, um, uh, you know, a can of chicken noodle soup and some beans. Whatever, just to kind of spice it up and make it, make it more exciting. So anyway, last uh, a few months ago, <clears throat> I finished a little section hike of the PCT and I was hiking along. Um, and I wanted to stop and eat a little dinner before I got to camp. I was kind of hungry, but I wasn't super hungry. It was kind of late in the day and I was going to try to get a few more miles in after I ate. So I didn't want to like totally stuff myself. So um, I got into my pack and I pulled over and found a little spot and I had this Mexican uh, quinoa bowl. Um, this one's made by uh, good to go pretty good food uh, company that makes backpacking food. Um, but I didn't want to eat the whole thing. It's like a two person serving. Um, and I just wasn't like super stuffed or super hungry. So I took about half of it, maybe even a little less than half of it, and I dumped it in my pot um, and just, you know, maybe I just totally winged it. Filled up the rest of it with water, put the lid on, let it boil and simmer for just a few minutes. Um, I don't know how long, 10, 15 minutes. You can keep checking it and see if it's any good. Um, and then I ate that and it was really good. And I'm like, wow, that was good. So um, when I got to camp, I wasn't even hungry and I think it's dark and I just went to bed. So um, a couple days later, uh, I had this thing in my pack and it was folded up. I folded it up after I was using it because you know these are Ziplocs. So I ziplocked it and I folded it in half uh, and shoved it back in my food bag. And um, you know, one side note here, one of the things I always carry with me is some kind of, it's like my trail snack favorite thing is a, a bag of some kind of Fritos. This is the Trader Joe's organic corn dippers, but these work, Fritos work, my favorite salty corn chips for like a trail snack really good so i had some of these this was like the i don't know a couple nights later i had a bag of these almost gone i had a half of one of these you know uh kind of a spicy dish and then i had a uh a uh, dried potatoes like mashed potatoes this one is a creamy potato cheddar soup which of course it's not really but i didn't have any for the video so i made my own label um but just to get you get the idea so I had one of these and I thought, wow, creamy potato cheddar soup, some spicy bean stuff, and some corn dippers. I think this could be good. So I took my potato, uh, creamy potato soup one, and I poured the rest of this into this bag, let it all cook in there like you're supposed to, and then I dumped a pile of Fritos on the top of it. And I gotta tell you, it was the best dinner I've ever had on the trail and and that's may not be saying much but the purpose of this uh, little instruction here is to give you ideas of how to make your trail food a little bit more interesting you don't have to eat this whole thing in one sitting if you don't want to you can take two and open two and mix them together just to get a little bit more exciting um, anyway these are just some ideas they're probably the best backpacking food ideas you've ever ever heard um, and I'm so excited about it um, I don't know, it's just something I thought about. I guess I'm not that excited about it, but it's just something I did and something I thought about that I wanted to share with you guys so you could get some other ideas. You can mix anything you want, okay? Hey, just some ideas for backpacking. Food ideas, secrets. This is a secret. Well, it's not now, because now you know about it. But anyway, hey, thanks for watching. See you later.